Welcome back to the video you guys hope you guys are having an amazing day successfully paired that was pretty rude but anyways today we got something super exciting i've been waiting for this for the longest man and i can't wait to go pick it up so let's head on over there so we're actually on our way to go pick up um the 350z new fenders if you guys remember from our video from it's been a while actually from when a tree fell on my actual car um it kind of messed up the fenders so i ordered new ones and ever since then i kind of ordered them and they've been taking forever to get to me but i'll that's a story for later but i ordered these they're not carbon they're not the kind that everybody else gets i don't want to be just like every other 350z you know and so i hope you guys like them i hope you guys are excited for the fenders i haven't really seen anybody rock these to be honest but I guess we'll check them out when we get here. I think we pulled up to the spot. Well, the getaway is like 25 minutes away from my pet. So, let's see what this all this is about. Back it's secure, boys. Let's get it. Apparently, they only ship mostly car parts, like bumpers, fenders, stuff like that, doors. Weird, never heard about them. But they, apparently, they can't ship to my house. They just ship to certain warehouses, which is weird, but they got the package right here. Package secured. They should barely fit in the fucking bed. Let's get it to the pad. I'm dying to crack these shits open. So, so quick little backstory on these fenders. Um, like I said, I, I bought them because mine were messed up. Let me go ahead and show you. Hmm? This is my car in a thousand pieces. They kind of messed it up. Not just that, but it's kind of messed up in like the shape of it. Like I couldn't get it to align well, well anyway from right here too. So I just decided to get rid of them. take one of these out so I got, right off the bat these the packaging on this is shit bro for real no cap but whatever I ain't gonna get mad this is the fenders these are actually OEM OEM fenders but they're just modified so that Jeez, that's that's very aggressive and they send them to me wrong bro for real they actually sent them to me wrong i i ordered them to keep the z you know the z on the fender i ordered them to get that still there but i guess they send it to me wrong you would think if they took this long to do them they at least do them right let me see if i can show you guys all the imperfections so it's kind of messed up right here really wavy needs body work done it's not even right here it's not either right here not really not needs body work all down here all right here because this is wavy as hell you're gonna see that through wrap through paint through everything it's chipped a few places along the edge it's chipped you're gonna see that through that it's it's messed up right here it's wavy right here needs that body work and then right here it needs a bunch more body work what else it's kind of wavy right here like honestly this is kind of just a tear look at this bro like for real for real there's body work all under here man like all over this edge you see this edge i hope you guys can see that man this is honestly a disappointment for real this one isn't so bad but it's still pretty bad still needs a ton of body work right here there's holes everywhere it needs body work right there you know like I mean it is what it is bro but like if this stuff happens to you guys i don't just want you guys to stay quiet and just throw them on the car and just be whatever about it reach out to them try to get this shit solved if you can't we're gonna have to take another route i already hit them up i already sent the pictures so let's see what they say but honestly i'm not gonna be paying full price for these these are like not even up to par to like you know
So I haven't actually picked up the camera for this vlog in a minute. Um, basically, long story short, I had to take these to get redone, like the whole bondo work where you see this paint. This is like guide paint where all this is at. I had to get redone because it was cracks, chipping, it was terrible. The metal was not prepped properly underneath, so the guy had to take the bondo off, prep the metal, and then put the bondo on top again and create these lines again, but it came out flawless. So right now I'm just gonna go over it because that's that's gonna be shown through the wrap. That isn't, so I need to fix that. So now your boy's gonna buzz down. I'm about to take off the fenders, side skirts. Well, side skirts to get to the fenders, and then the bumper, the headlights, and that's what you guys are gonna see right now. There's a clip right here on the side for the side skirt. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts for the underneath. Two more clips and then a bunch of clips. And don't be dumb like me and break them all because I broke a lot of them. See? Broken. Um, the actual fender has two bolts right here. One right here, one right here. So in the toy, you got four on the top that are 10, two on the bottom that are 10, and then two 12s for the headlight housing. Same thing on the inside. Cars never looked this naked before. Let me that down.
I'm just gonna finish up the rest of the car. It's like 7 30 in the morning, so I'm, I'm a little tired. I'm gonna finish it up right now. That's the other side, but you guys can't see it yet. Basically, long story short, um, the first night we tried to do them, my friend did it, my homie UM Raps. I'm gonna leave his stuff in the description below, and also I'm gonna tag him right here so you guys can check him out. The homie always comes through, he does all the raps for all the builds and in infamous VQs, which is a club we are all a part of. And um, he basically got down on the fenders. Unfortunately, I pulled up a little bit late, so we didn't have time to do the whole process. And especially since we had to deal with the shitty fitment, it took a little bit of a while to get it up and going, but uh, everything's on the car right now. I just stopped to check out the sunset, take a pic, and I figured I'd show you guys outside because I'm actually on the way to Octavio's house right now to go um, adjust the ride height. I need to raise it in the rear for the r 8s because they keep rubbing, and I need to lower it in the front just a little bit because despite these being o supposedly OEM fenders, they sit a little bit higher than usual, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys that right now. All right, so check it out, guys. This is what we got with right here. Oh, the rear is ridiculously low right now. I just gassed up. Maybe on a little bit uneven in uneven pavement. My bad. But, um, wow, this this is really ridiculously low. That's too low. I'm about to raise it probably like half inch in the rear to avoid any rubbing at all, at all, at all. Especially while I'm toguing. And then the front, I'm probably going to drop it about half an inch because that's kind of high. If you guys remember, it was a one finger gap before. Now it's two. So, need to fix that as well. But the fenders are cool, they're all right. This one had really, really, really terrible fitment. It was too close up top and it was hitting on the bottom. So I literally had to drill out the smaller holes right here that they bolt onto to make it work, but it works, right? And it's relatively good fender. I mean, it's holding up. The wrap almost looks identical. On camera, you can't even notice the difference at all. In person, uh, shit, not even that much anyways. We drilled out the holes this morning as well. That was super easy. Now I get to see the complete fender, no more dents, no more flapping around. Honestly, there's no bolt right here, but it's just the fitment is just super, super tight right here. But you guys can see there's a gap right here, and it just, it's literally like super, super tight right there. It's what holds the headlight in place. But on this side, excuse my headlight, bro. I, I honestly don't know what's going on. It's, it's on its last life, but let me just show you guys how aggressive it actually is, man, because I don't know if you guys can see it with the black. Any other color wrap should bring it out more or paint, you know, despite what you guys like. This one came out a little bit better, but I couldn't get the fitment as good right here. But the fitment everywhere else was pretty easy on this one. Given I'm not anyone professional to be like aligning stuff like that. I, like, I'm surprised how honestly how hard it was to do this job. I have a newfound respect for people that do body work like 24 seven, but I mean, it, I think it looks cool for what it is, you know? It's just hard, really, really hard to show off the cut. See, cause my whole, almost my like, see? It's so hard to show off the cut on camera, especially with black. But I think that does it justice right there. You guys can see that? Let me know what you guys think though. Let me know what you guys think of the fenders. Let me know what you guys think of the look. It's not done, but I'm gonna show you guys at a gas station lighting. But uh, let me know what you guys think of so far. All right, we're here at the homie's pad right now. I'm gonna bust down, I'm just waiting for him. But um, basically what I wanted to explain is, um, I could basically, when I, when I hit a bump, it sits on the tire because the tire is ridiculously wide you guys already know that we have poke but um a lot of you guys told me to just pull the fenders now there's a reason why i don't want to pull these fenders and it's because one they're irreplaceable i mean they are replaceable well you can't replace this you just literally have to take it all off and put a new one you know like uh you can get a one like you can get a one off of oemz but it won't be the same or you can get like wide body which is not mic at all for me and basically i'm never gonna buy these tires again these tires are like a thousand new and y'all tripping if you think i'm gonna buy like these tires again you know like for myself i got them because they were a good deal but that's why i want to rock these and just lift it a little bit and then when i get new tires that actually tuck when i hit a bump or something then i'll you know i'll have good fitment but i'm not gonna pull my fenders and potentially ruin them just for these tires that you know i'm not gonna run forever does that make sense to you guys 
I mean, that makes sense to me because I'm like, I'm pretty sure when these are done, I'll just get some 305s and those will tuck and I will have no reason to have overly exaggerated pulled fenders, you know? So that's my outlook on that. I'm just going to raise it, fix the problem no more. I mean, I could just drive it like this, but you already know that I'm not about like, don't that, show them too that, much. Don't take I'm it out of the wrapper. I'm just going to show stuff. you guys the intake. Um, or, or, gonna look killer not in the dumb area. Yeah, uh, that's all you guys are gonna see for right like now. this to work. But everybody's gonna come later. I really think it's an unfortunate but it beams thing. Keys? It doesn't really matter for me. I think it looks sexy yes. regardless. You know. Uh, so what's up, y'all? Yeah? We at the gas station right now. Can't wait to show you guys what it looks like. It looks super aggressive. I'm gonna put up a picture right now of what I'm trying the look I'm trying to go for, and I think we successfully nailed it. Uh, it's not super aggressive in the sense of um, the way like the angle. Is this, you know, it's not an aggressive angle, but it's, it's a very noticeable angle. It's very JDM. Oh, you guys can see it more on camera. You see it? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You feel me, bro. I know you feel me in the car. You feel it too. Let me show you guys the feminine in there. She got these fenders at night, though. The fenders at night, though. She's showing off the tire just a little bit, you know? What else we got right here? This fitment is super tight, bro. You guys see that? It looks super good, though. And it doesn't rub. I already did some pulls with the homie in the car, and it doesn't rub. Um, Rear also doesn't rub, and I loosened up the suspension a little bit, so it drives a lot better, but it doesn't rub at all. This is old rub marks, but it doesn't rub no more. Looks super killer. I mean, it looks the same on both sides. You know, this side just less messed up, but it looks pretty fire, bro. I'm not going to cap. Like, it looks exactly how I wanted it to look since the beginning, man. Like, all this hard work paid off. And I'm, I'm going to keep it real with y'all, bro. Like, these fenders, honestly save your money they were like 600 so the fenders alone were already pretty expensive they were like 600 to get them without the emblem delete and then like 650 to get them with the emblem deleted i didn't order them with the emblem delete but it already came with it and i didn't like that because it's not what i ordered right the fenders took super long to make took like six months to make um which is typical from what i've heard but it was just cracked it was shitty fitment like it was just like I, i'm new to this aesthetic mod stuff because it's like the last thing i was gonna worry about but like it was just it just wasn't for me you know and i've seen people do this to the actual stock fenders because these are supposedly stock fenders but they don't fit like stock fenders right but i supposedly like i i've seen people do this with stock fenders zero issues and it's super cheap probably like less than a hundred dollars probably like less than less than 30 bucks to do the job if you're gonna do it by yourself less than 30 bucks uh, me unfortunately i just got my insurance claim from when the time the tree hit my car if you guys remember that video if not i'll link it down below but um that's why I got them because I I don't like the carbon fenders. I feel like every Z has them. They're just so common. It doesn't and it doesn't really call my attention because it's like I feel like it's too much for the car because I, I want something clean and simple. So this was really good for me because even my aesthetic mods are to make me faster, right? Because I that airflow is gonna help me out a lot. You feel me? Just a thought, man. But I 100% will not. Let me show you off the hoodies though. Y'all see the hoodie though? These are samples that were getting made. I'm trying to find someone that does good quality and can do them on time and stuff, but it's been a little bit hard because the quality is not there or maybe the timing is not there. And I like I want it to be perfect because this is something we're creating. You know, I'm not going to sell some boof. I'm not going to offer some boof. You wouldn't take boof anyways, you know? So like, that's why it's got to be like perfect, exactly the way I want it, exactly the way the homies want it. Like, everything's just got to line up, bro. Like, I'm telling you, that's why it's taking so long for me to like bring it out to you guys but it, it's definitely in the works man i want you guys to trust me on that man i'm just literally out here bro like i don't I'm just out here bro i just wanted to talk to you guys show you guys the whip real quick oh now that the z is ready we can finally announce the giveaway so the giveaway i'm gonna do on a separate video the next video is gonna be some beamer content but the video after that is gonna be the giveaway i'm not giving away i'm gonna give away two tuna tuna shirts pro clubs they're made badass badass quality but unfortunately, the guy can't make them for me no more. Otherwise, I would just have him make them. And I hope you guys are excited for the giveaway. I'm going to throw in some extra goodies as well. And uh, I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what the giveaway is yet. But it has something to do with my 350Z. And you guys are going to guess something. You're not going to get my car. But you're going to guess something on it. You know, for a chance to win. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you guys are living life. Being happy. Kicking in with friends. Family. Loved ones. You feel me? It's a crazy world we live in, so it's important to be happy. Happiness comes first before this car stuff, before YouTube, before job, before anything. Happiness comes first. So if you're happy, you already won. We already won, bro. We already won. It's already happened. Time just hasn't caught up yet. I hope you guys never stop believing in yourself. I believe in you as well. 
I want you to do big things. I want Toon Tuners. I want you guys to do go on and do your own big thing. Or we we already making Toon Tuners great together, but you feel me? Like I just want to do something great for the community, for the world. I want to do great big things, man. I want to do, you know, it's just it's just what we do. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop trailing off and going on different tangents. I hope you guys have an amazing, blessed day, and I catch you guys on the next video. Thank you.